Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. My name is Greg Flaherty, and I am a recovering Toastmaster with six mass, six years of Toastmasters experience. It's been a while since I've been, had the pleasure of speaking to each of you, and I really want this to be a conversation about reintroducing myself. So when the opportunity to speak at a icebreaker presented itself, why not take this opportunity to have a conversation with you this evening? since it has been a while. And why not do it in a way that is pretty fun? So if we can share very briefly what I'm about, how well do you really know your fellow Toastmaster? And in this regard, I wanna be able to do this in a word picture and have a conversation with you and if we start with the bottom left picture, this is a photograph snapshot of my family. My wife, Emily, to my left. And to her left is my older son, Corbin, who is 20 years old. And to my right in the picture is my youngest son, Sean, who actually turns 16 at midnight tonight, tomorrow. And this is a picture taken in one of the houses that my wife's family has down in Montreat, North Carolina, based out of Asheville. So if you're ever going to ask where Greg Flaherty's at at any point of the season, it's probably going to be outside of Asheville in the town of Montreat, North Carolina, where we like to spend our summers and some of our fall and winters uh, with family and with friends just to get away from the hustle and bustle of Washington, D.C., Moving to clockwise to the top picture right above is my youngest son, Corbin, shooting when he was approximately five years old. Additional background about myself, a lot of the Toastmasters members in the room, the virtual room, if you will, know me to be a Marine, retired Marine at that. And I used to actually sh shoot competitively with the International Practical Shooters Competitive Association. And although I'm not a diehard NRA member by any stretch of the imagination, I am actually not an NRA member, but I do believe in the safe usage of guns and rifles and pistols and any type of firearms. And I felt it important to be able to at least teach my sons how to use weapons very safely and judiciously and to at least be familiar and have a respect for firearms. So as you can tell, I started them off pretty young to be able to use rifles at a very young age and to do so responsibly. So used to take them shooting in the Carolinas often, uh, starting off with a 22. And then when they became teenagers to be able to shoot to handguns and pistols. So pretty much that's how me as a family like to spend our time in terms of quality time at the shooting range. Now, if you're ever gonna find us in the summers, we actually like to spend time down in Charleston, South Carolina, visiting my in-laws. And what do you do in, the, in Charleston, South Carolina? You go boating. And so a lot of time is spent out on the water with uh, my father-in-law who unfortunately passed away a few months ago and actually been spending a lot of time with my wife and her siblings getting the estate taken care of. So a lot of you have been wondering, where's Greg? Well, actually we've been taking care of a lot of estate matters with the family since John passed away. But the time spent with family down in South Carolina has been with the boats and take, taking time to spend with Sue and John uh, whenever we can in the open water. And then as you move, continue to move clockwise, I like to brew beer. And one of my biggest projects in the Pentagon was gathering of Lieutenant Colonels when we would let off some steam. And actually, when it became winter and had dark nights, we would gather at a local brewery that allowed us to brew our own beer. And we also like to have our favorite Edgar Allan quote on the actual beer label itself, which is, who cares how time advances, I am drinking ale today. So pretty much that was the time we spent in the Pentagon 
and Dark Winter Nights, which was our beer projects. And then finally, wrapping it up, staying active in the Marine Corps. I used to play rugby in the Marine Corps, and it's probably a, a major reason why I'm probably broken and injured into my retirement days. Have a lot of injuries that can attribute to the rugby pitch, where I played several positions. I hooked, I played scrum half, and I was also a weak side wing when I used, actually used to be very fast on the pitch. So do you actually know your fellow Toastmasters outside of Toastmasters? Not really, but I wanted to take this opportunity to reintroduce myself to you, Kemp Mill Toastmasters. Hopefully I'm able to come back more often, but we'll see. We still have a lot of state things to take care of as we uh, go into the new year, but it's really good to be back. Thank you.